Hello everyone, my name is EQ and this is my Dragon Age Inquisition gameplay series. Okay, I may have overtime. Someone emptied a whole bag of turnips into the fire. Ah, oh, Maker, the smell is everywhere. I was gonna use them for dinner and then... Honored, Inquisitor. Gotzi Sturhald. Did my part on the walls. Now I'm on this strange collection you've brought us. Don't know it's worth to the fight exactly, but it's good workmanship. Any ideas about the origins of these reliefs? To Vinter, early. It's in the tool marks, the grain. That's hard dust mined from the Hundred Pillars, if I know anything. Oh, I suppose the scene is probably full of Tevinter robes, too. The Hundred Pillars? 
damnedest things. Massive spires that aren't stone. It's like a mortar. Don't know more than that. Strong, though. Where did you learn your skills? Orzammar. Carved a few statues in my day. And before you ask, yes, I chose to leave. I carved a paragon who turned out to be a sodding madwoman. Couldn't stand looking at it. The memory of a dwarf, right? Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment. Where you will sit in judgment. Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Still more lives in my hands. You are a beacon of law, Inquisitor, as others retreat from responsibility. But this needn't be bloody. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking. The building. With... a... goat. Chief Mavran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? You answered the death of your clan with a goat? <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son, and I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. He meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. It seems our conflict was accidental, Chief Movran, but it can't be repeated. I banish you and your clan, with as many weapons as you can carry, to Tevinter. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all. <laughs> I like this charging you part. This is fun. Garion Alexius of Tevinter. Ferelden has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. 
The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempt in assassination on your own life, no less. Tevinter has disowned and stripped him of his rank. You may judge the former magister as you see fit. I remember what would have happened to Thedas if his treachery had succeeded. I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You've won nothing. The people you saved, the acclaim you've gathered. You'll lose it all in the storm to come. Render your judgment, Inquisitor. You swore to the mages you'd help them. I will have you uphold that promise. Fiona will take charge of you. Any knowledge, favor, or coin you own will go towards the mages future. A headsman would have been kinder. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's it.
were a inquisitor. I'll be back later. I'll be here.
They have certainly spared no expense. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. Dealing with so many demanding, strong-willed people can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antiva. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? <laughs> the Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah. Can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? It went by so quickly I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady Montillier. Goodness! I'm... Well, I'm, I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, I've taken up quite enough of your time already. Until next time, Your Worship. <laughs>